Hello everyone. Welcome to the second session on eViews. In this session, we will be talking about the unit root testing in eViews. Now we all know that eViews helps in analyzing the different data. So the data is basically associated in terms of time series, cross section and longitudinal or which we also call as panel data. It is an effective tool to streamline statistical and econometric modeling. So time series basically focuses on a single individual at multiple time intervals. And whenever we are talking about this longitudinal data, which is also known as panel data, is basically a series of repeated observations of the same subject over some time frame. On the other hand, whenever we are talking about this cross-sectional data, it is about different subjects at each point in time. For instance, we can take the example of like individuals, firms, or region. Generally, before applying regression or predicting the models, we first check whether the time series of the variables is stationary or not. For that unit root test is to be applied for checking the stationarity of the time series in terms of defining whether it is a stationary or a non-stationary data. Before moving further, let's understand what is stationarity. So when the statistical properties such as mean, variance, and covariance of the distribution are constant, to, constant over time, the time series is said to be stationary. In other words, when the series lacks trend, it is known as stationary series. Let us understand this concept through graphical representation first of all. So in this slide, you will be able to see that in the first graph, I have shown you the non-stationary time series, while in the second graph, I have shown you the stationary time series. In the non-stationary time series, it is easily visible that there is a trend here as it is initially rising, then starts falling after reaching its highest point, And then again, it shows a rising and falling trend. On the other hand, in the stationary time series, there is fluctuation in the data, but you will see that there is no trend. Therefore, it can be concluded through the graphical representation that the series which is showing trend is non-stationary while the stationary one is that having no trend. So the significance of carrying out a stationarity test is that if the time series is going to be non-stationary, this will lead to spurious results. So to have a meaningful result, the series should be stationary. So what if a series is non-stationary, then we can use methods like differencing to stabilize the mean through remo removing changes in the level of time series in terms of remo removing or eliminating the trend. So basically, the unit root testing is in terms of finding out that what how we are going to make or analyze our series in terms of stationary and non-stationary aspects. So let's move to this unit root testing in case of how we are going to do that in case of our own software eViews. So let's move. So let's see this in live session using the eView software. So here, this is the eViews window, which I have shown you in the first video itself. 
and now we are going to apply the unit root test here. So first of all, you need to open a work file. So for that, I'm going to click file, then open. So I'm going to use the Excel file. That's why I'm clicking on foreign data as work file. And after that, you will go to your folder on which you want to work. So here I will be using my data file which I have saved here. And this is how the um, window will pop up. And you can see that the data which is there in that particular file will be shown here. And after clicking on next, you will see that there are some options like header lines, header types is there. Type is basically name, which is kind of default chosen one. So you just click on the next. And then you will see that in this particular window that name which has been specified in terms of year because we are using years in our data and data type is basically number one. And after that, you will click on the next. Here you can see that I have, I'm going to create a new work file. So import method has been mentioned like this. And the basic structure of my data is dated and is specified by data date series. You will also see that there are different options like unstructured or undated data, dated panel data, undated with ID series, undated panel data as well. You will also see that the data series is in year terms and frequency of my, my data is annual. So that's why I have chosen these options and I'm going to click on the finish. So uh, after this, this worksheet will follow or work file will follow and you will see that the C represents the intercept and this RESID basically represents the residual aspect and GDP, GDPGR, agri agriculture, annual percentage growth and employment in agriculture are basically the different variables which I'm going to or the different series basically or which I'm going to use in this particular uh, software for analysis of unit root testing. So let's check the stationary property of these variables one by one, whether in terms of finding out that they are stationary or non-stationary. Let's uh, open the folder of this particular file. Suppose I want to check for agriculture annual growth rate, and this is the values which I have taken here. So you can see that the data is from 1991 to 2020. So under this, I'm going to go and click on this particular view option and of this particular series. And in this, you will see that the different options are available. So here, because I want to go for this unit root testing, I'm going to apply that. So unit root test, then the different options which are available is a standard unit root test, break point unit root test and seasonal unit root test. But for our purpose, a standard unit root test is going to be applied. And when you click on that, the window which will pop up is like this. It will show you that test type first of all. So in this, you will see that the one which I'm going to choose is augmented Dickey Fuller test. There are other options as well, like Dickey Fuller GLS, Philip Perron test, and others as well. So, what we have to do here is we have to test the unit root test. And here I'm going to test it at level and first difference and for intercept and trend aspect. Okay, and I'm going to go for this automatic selection aspect and there are different options available here also. And you can also specify it. If you want to change it from use uh, automatic selection to user specified, you can also go for the same. But here in this particular option, I'm, not, I'm just going to choose the automatic selection aspect. So here we are going to test it on the level and 
first difference. So why we need to do the differencing? That is the first difference or second differencing. So basically, differencing is one of the method to stabilize the time series in order to eliminate the trend. So just to stabilize the data series, that is the main aspect here. So here I'm going to click on level and then intercept and then you can go for OK. So this is the result which is available to us. So in this particular situation, what you will see is that the prob value, probability value or the P value is 0 0.00 and the null hypothesis in case of your unit root testing is basically that there is a unit root. In other words, you can also say that that series is non-stationary. And the rule here is if the probability value is less than 5%, then you are going to reject the null hypothesis. So in this particular situation, based on our result, you can see that we can say that, that we are going to reject the null hypothesis. It simply means that our series is stationary at level and intercept. And now we again want to check the same on the second aspect so i'm again going to click on unit root test then a standard unit root test and then now i'm going to check this again at trend and intercept aspect okay in the test equation so after clicking on this i'm going to move further so this is the result here with respect to the same variable but at trend and intercept both aspects Okay, so now let's move to this again from the first difference point of view and for the intercept aspect. So again, I'm going to click OK. So now my probability value is 0 0.0001. And again, I'm going to do this for this particular variable at the trend and intercept level. So the value is 0 0.007. So in all my tests, which I've applied at level and first difference at trend and intercept, as well as intercept aspect, all the values are less than 5%. So with respect to this agriculture annual growth rate, I can say that, that my data is stationary. Now let's check again for some other variables suppose the gdp growth rate okay so this these are the different values for this particular series and it's from 1991 to 2020 so again i'm going to click on view then unit root test then standard unit root test then i'm going to go for the level and intercept aspect okay and all other things i'm uh, choosing as they are so I'm going for this automatic selection aspect and again, then again, okay. So here you can see that I'm talking about on the level aspect and for the intercept one. So here you can see that my probability value is more than 5%. Okay, so it simply says that my data is non-stationary, that my series is non-stationary basically. Now let's again check this for... Uh, trend and intercept aspect. So here again, the value is 0 0.7909. So I'm going to go for the first difference here. So at the first difference and intercept. So this is going to be my value. So now it is less than 5%. So the my series is stationary here at first difference aspect so the value is 0 0.0019 which is less than five percent so we are going to reject the denial hypothesis which says that there is a unit root okay again i'm going to check this for the trend and intercept aspect at first difference level only and so now you can see that again at this particular level the probability value is 0 0.0017 which is less than five percent so we are going to reject the null hypothesis that there is a unit root or series is non-stationary so for this particular variable that is my gdp growth rate my series is stationary at first difference
So this is how basically you will apply unit root testing in case of the eView software. Thank you so much.